Some of you are asking how I get my bikes so clean when I put pictures on Facebook and so on. And recently someone's asked me to do a video showing how I do it. What I'm going to try and do is to try and stay as true to the ways that most of us can do it without using too much specialised equipment. But I will show you the stuff I use to an extent and offer alternatives so that you can copy my method if you wish. This bike is not mine, obviously. This is uh, Project Trizzer's channel link here and uh, he's asked me to give it the Angry Dragon treatment. So I'm going to clean it up. It does have its flaws. It's got a little crack here and uh, a couple of, you know, scuffs here and there, but I'm going to see what I can do to make it look better. As it stands, it's, it's, it's quite dirty, as you can see. It's, uh, it's not the best. We'll go over the stuff you need first. Well, not need, but you can use. On its side stand, the bike's fine but you're going to have to be careful when it comes to polishing and stuff because the bike will rock and it might fall off its side stand, it might roll forwards off the side stand. It's a lot easier if you've got a paddock stand or something similar to or a centre stand on the bike to keep it sturdy. So, And it also makes life a lot easier if the bike's not leaning over to one side when you're trying to polish one side of it. Stuff I use, uh, you want to start with, with the bike being covered in crap off the road, you want to start with uh, a good water source. You're just going to hose the bike down start with. Now I like to cheat. I've got one of these. Basically it just clips onto your hose, water goes through it, spins that round. Very easy. Uh, a good dirty sponge to start with for the initial clean of the bike. Sometimes it's handier to have a cleaner one afterwards if, if it's me is around too much. Uh, chain cleaner, get the oil off your chain. I like to mix it with a bit of WD-40, just gives it that extra bit of shifting if you've got say dry ptfe oil on your chain old toothbrush because you know if you've got a chain brush that's better but an old toothbrush will do the job just fine this stuff this this is magic stuff this this will remove any sort of tar blemishes i'll show you that one later water blade very very useful on fared bikes uh, and a wet you know a, a chamois cloth either artificial or natural is fine now you're asking why have i got a led work light here it works really well for showing blemishes and if you can see them on the tank that are otherwise invisible it really lights them up so after you've cleaned it you miss any bits that you've you know it shows up any bits you've missed uh, bumper and trim gel i know the bike doesn't have any bumpers but i like to use it on the plastics and cables and so on just to stop them from going that sort of pale tired gray look uh, polish well, that's self-explanatory. Any any brand will do. I, I you know obviously I prefer Auto Gleam, but if you can't afford that, that's that's fine. Two polishing cloths, one for on, one for off. So wax on, wax off, etc. Once you've done all your cleaning, you're going to want to re-lubricate the chain. I've got some stuff here, Rapid Detailer. That's really good for just you know finishing it up after any fingerprints or that you've put on the bike while you've been touching it up. So yeah, right, let's begin. So you start with your water. Let's see, so I take my cheating machine. The other reason I'm using this is because I don't want this video to last forever and a day. So this just makes it really easy to shift the dirt off the bike, any oil, any grease. It's a good idea to have the bike just slightly warm when you're doing this. Because it just helps any stuck on dirt move. See how easy that is? Just rubbing it over the surface. It's scrubbing in a rotary fashion. Oh. You know what I've forgotten? I've forgotten to put the bike on its stand, professional. Right, so, if you've got one, and straight away I found that quite difficult because the bike was leaning over and I noticed that I hadn't. So, if you've got one, use it because it's going to make your life a lot easier. Right, okay, there we go. So water back on and let's continue. So it's always a good idea to start from the top and work down because naturally you want your dirt to flow down, not drag it up the bike. Now you notice that I'm not using any soaps or detergents or anything like that yet. And I don't really believe in using them unless the bike or car is really heavily soiled. I mean like really heavily. Because this one's not too bad, I'm not bothering, but it's up to you if you want to. Just don't ever use fairy liquid, because that's got salt in it. 
like wheels a bit of a quick scrub I'm not gonna go too thorough on them because it's gonna take me all bloody day I'll cover that some other time white wheels or something I'll do a vlog about as you can see straight away that's made cleaning that wheel about a billion times easier just by having it on the stand another thing I recommend is that if you keep your bike gear on when you're cleaning your bike you don't get soaking off your own uh, water from cleaning the bike like I'm doing now my feet are actually getting a bit wet though so let's put that down for a second and find out just how wet I've made my socks lovely bikes a lot cleaner already that shifted most of the dirt normally you say right well let's dry it off not so let me demonstrate some of this stuff to you intensive tar remover strong stuff now out of all the products that I say that you don't have to have you can do most of this with just water and a bit of elbow grease but this is one that I swear by and I do recommend it to anyone who owns a motorbike and has trouble getting bits of tar or black spots off their bike because this will make your life a lot easier a lot easier you only need a little bit because it's it is strong it is very strong see these black spots here on the side of the fairing watch this most of them are chips so they won't come off but any that are tar spots are just gonna vanish magically if you leave this on for a few minutes they will just wash off you just rub some of that on here's a well, look at that black wheel there watch this look how easy that just wipes right off that's brake dust and oil and road grease and everything it just lifts straight off whereas you saw me scrubbing it with that brush it just doesn't it doesn't move there we go and all you do is you just rinse that off afterwards and it it, it comes up perfectly white cloth's filthy though use a bit of tissue or a bit of cotton rag whatever you've got to hand just don't use it for anything else after you've started using it for this stuff because it's it's strong stuff and it will rape paint work if left on for too long but it's harmless to just use it and wash it straight off so you just rub it around your wheels just tiny tiny little splashes that's all you need because it's so potent it will just bring anything up to a like new finish it will shift that dirt straight off but it's especially good against tar splatter so let's see, see this swing arm here it's got oil on it just rub it on there look at that finish on that it just totally obliterates oil splatter or tar stains or anything like that you just rub some of this on and the oil will break down into a water soluble form under here's a bit of a mess as well so let's just get this is a real common sore point for most bikers is under here when your rear hugger doesn't exactly do the job you would hoped it would do and you just get shit everywhere all over this especially when it's white why did you buy a white bike project i hate cleaning white bikes especially in winter as lovely as they look they are definitely the worst color for a winter bike let's just leave that to soak in for a bit because that's probably the worst part of the bike get your hose again or your bucket of water whichever you've got and a sponge alternative to that if you don't have one of them just use a sponge and a hose or a brush now i just show you that wheel that i've just done look at that crystalline white again spray the whole bike down top to bottom i don't really approve of pressure washers if you want to use a pressure washer on your own bike that's fine but to me it's the lazy way of cleaning a bike and it doesn't exactly do them any favors to have high pressure bits of grit and dirt flying across the paintwork with pressurized water pushing them. I much prefer to do it this way, what I call a gently, gently approach. There we go, look at those wheels. Beautiful shade of white. Most of the bike is now, anyway. Rather than shades of gray like it was. Now, I wanna show you this, this swing arm that I've cleaned. And this under tray, look under there. Pure white hard part of the job done chain cleaner there we go so just spray this on nice and even on turning the wheel right i think that's most of the chain d they need so you just spray that on leave that for a few seconds while you're waiting for that to sink in get some wd-40 if you've got it if not just make do with your chain cleaner or use wd-40 on its own because they both do pretty much the same job spray your wd-40 on don't ever use this as chain lube by the way because it just comes off by the time you get to the end of the road so just keep turning your chain make sure it gets good and caked up in all this stuff leave that for a second but this is where your old toothbrush comes in very handy I mean, the 70p about that price you can pick one up brand new if you want they're not exactly going to cost you the earth if you just just give your chain a rub down with your toothbrush just keep scrubbing away at it as it turns sides etc just as it goes round just to loosen off any dirt grit salt anything that's gotten onto it that shouldn't definitely be on it this wheel's gonna get minging again don't worry because this stuff just rinses off because it's got chain cleaner in it so the oil is pretty much like water so just give it a good so your hands gonna get minging as well it's easy enough to wash off give it a good scrubbing around with the toothbrush sides front back etc thorough as you can I prefer to do it on the sprocket some people prefer to do it here 
in the link, but I prefer to do it on sprocket because it's got a, a bend in the link and you can really get into it. With most of your horrible crap scrubbed out of your chain, I think that's all it can see. Pop your toothbrush down somewhere, turn your water back on, go and blast off all that loosened oil. So this is another reason it's good to have your bike on a centre stand is that the oil doesn't end up on your wheel or your tyre. When you rinse it off, water blade, this will make your life billion times easier because you can just shift the bulk of the water without having to use a chamois yet constantly wringing it out so you just drag it over the surface it bends to shape and gets all this surface water off droplets and globules and jisms and all that so again top to bottom when drying as well as washing just so you don't get the top of the bike dirty again after you've spent ages cleaning it it's probably about the stage you'd switch to your chamois because this can't get into everywhere on a bike it's probably best suited to a car but on a fared bike, it does make life a little bit easier with the bulk of things. So get your chamois. It's usually good to run it under some lukewarm water first and give it a good ring out. Get any residue you might have in it from your last clean, which is soap or detergents. And just give the bike a good wipe down, top to bottom. This is also good for miss getting those points you may have missed when cleaning the bike initially. Just remember to regularly bring your chamois out, otherwise it'll end up moist. Mm, moist. So yeah, just make sure you get all areas of the bike get it nice and good and clean and dry because there's nothing worse than when you're polishing and you just get that bit of water that was trapped somewhere and it gets on your cloth and it just streaks the hell out of the polish and you've got to start over on that area at least that better not be rain it is rain well folks looks like i'm moving the bike inside for now sod's law isn't it you're cleaning the bike and then uh, it just starts pissing it down out of the blue as if by magic all right well this is just going to be constant battle at the minute so we'll just quickly move the bike into the shed and carry on because from now on it's it's all dry stuff 